Moment of truth. See what she says. 180.2, still down in weight, but not where I want to be. Now I'm a little disappointed about that weigh in considering I'm up a couple pounds from yesterday, but I think a lot of it has to do with the recipe video I did yesterday. I had the tortillas and I had a little more processed stuff, a little more sodium than I normally have. I think I'm just holding a little bit of extra water today, but I still feel good. I'm still, <laughs> life's still good. We're still making progress. So uh, let's do a physique update. And here we go, guys. Physique update, check it out. Looking leaner definitely than last time. And as you can see by the way, and I'm definitely losing weight. And it's strange uh, because I'm doing zero cardio, nothing like that. I'm literally just dieting and eating good food. So it's a big change up for me mentally on what it requires for my body to get to where it wants to be. But so far we've made really good progress and I'm pumped about it. Look at that, look at all that. See, feeling good. Just gotta get rid of this down here, which will probably come with time. Unfortunately, my genetics make that really hard for me to lose, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, please so far guys, series is going good, everything's going good, diet's going good, so hopefully if you guys are following along at home too, you're seeing similar results. So it's pretty early in the morning and I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm still fasted, but I'm getting ready to take my little fasting drink. So I figured, hey, why not? I'll show you guys what I've been uh, putting in my morning concoction to give me energy, give this micronutrients in my system and uh, I feel like help me make progress. So let's do it. First up, we need a shaker cup. Next, we're gonna add some boiling hot water to this. There we go. Out of all the flavors, let's do Great Gatsby. All right, so I go ahead every morning, take my hot water here. I don't know what it is about the hot water, but I think it's, it makes me think it's more like coffee. Mental thing right there, but I just kind of like drinking something hot, wakes me up a little better. So two scoops, of pure aminos, 200 milligrams of caffeine, branch chain aminos in my system. Perfect for when I'm fasting. I'm telling you guys, I do this every single morning, so don't take my word for it. Well, I guess kind of take my word for it. Next up, we take Cyto Greens, which is my green superfood powder supplement, and I do one scoop of that in here as well in the hot water. I find that this hot water makes this taste much better. So this is what I take in place of my multivitamin that gives me all my micronutrients and everything I need in a day, and probably the least processed version of it as opposed to a pill that was created in a lab. So one scoop of that. And then finally, we're gonna add in two scoops of Humapro. Now, I can't really explain what this supplement is doing for me to you guys, just because I'm not as well versed on it, but my business partner, Wade, and my supplement, buddy, partner, slash friend, Ryan Ankrum that owns Subzilla, he swears by this stuff. He says he takes it every single day and it really helps him build lean muscle and stuff. So I've been giving it a shot. And like I said, this diet's been really good so far. I don't know if it's this, I don't know if it's the clean food or what, but something's working. Put the cap on. Nice. And shake it up. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Oops, let that be a lesson to you guys. Make sure your cap's screwed all the way down or else that hot water forces everything else up and it creates a mess. But I just had to clean up, but hey, this is real life guys, so we just leave it in, we don't edit it out. We don't pretend like it didn't happen. Let's go ahead and give our little uh, drink concoction a taste. I'm telling you, this might look like, or look like, sound like, seem like, there we go, that it's not gonna taste very good, but I personally enjoy this every morning. I look forward to this every day. And then at night sometimes if I'm hungry and I don't wanna have any extra food, I'll make me a hot drink like this with some great superfood powder in it and it does something for me. It does something for me. All right, let's do it. See, I think that's amazing. If you don't think that that's not at least palatable after you've been dieting, then you're just not trying hard enough. <laughs> I'm telling you. So game plan is I need to drink this. I have a lot of work to do. I got to drive up to New Albany, which is about an hour away. I'm meeting with Wade. We got to film some content for the Out Hustle launch and all the pre-workouts and everything. We're going to get a workout in, so we're going to be hitting the road today, guys. So I need to make sure all my at-home work is done. At-home work. My homework. It feels like homework. So anyways, not going to bore you guys here. I will see you in a little bit once we get some of this wrapped up and it's go time. All right, guys, just wrapped up all my meal plans, all my training plans, and I have about 30 minutes before I need to leave and start heading up to Columbus. So I need to eat something really fast, and I probably should have checked in in the kitchen and not right here. So hold on, real quick, kitchen time. All right, this is better. We are in the kitchen. I am running so short on time. I gotta leave my house so quick that uh, I don't really have time to set the tripod up and show you guys exactly what I'm eating, but let's see if a little bit of magic can uh, fix that problem for us. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Look at this, guys. I'm getting so good at this whole magic thing. So what I am eating here, actually, I need a fork. Hey, there we go. What I have here is two large eggs, and what I do is I'll take liquid egg whites separately and I'll weigh out about 230 grams of them and mix them in with my eggs as well. I find it's just, for me, I could split the yolks from the actual eggs, but it's time efficiency here, guys. Time efficiency, so that's how I like to do it. Fry them up. I also took some broccoli, chopped it up into smaller pieces for my veggies, and then threw them in there in the skillet as well. Heated them up and cooked it all together to make a really nice meal here. And then I also decided to do some oatmeal. We do 40 grams of old-fashioned oatmeal, and then 
I take five ounces or 140 grams of berries and I mix them in as well, along with one serving of almond butter. Stir it all together, add a little bit of cinnamon to it, and uh, yeah, pretty good. This has basically been my breakfast every single morning for the last uh, little bit since I started this diet series, and I love it. It's very filling, very nutritious. We're getting a ton of fiber, a ton of micronutrients, basically really putting our best foot forward at the first meal of the day. So, hold on, taste test. Mm. Oatmeal time. Hey. Mm. So good. So, I gotta leave my house now, so the next time you guys see me, we'll probably be uh, in the car on our way, so let's go. Whoa, there we go. What's up, big dog? What's going on? Look at this place. All right. You ready to uh, film some commercials today? Let's do it, man. I can't wait. Been I know. Waiting all day. Dude, we got this. Hey, look at this. This looks all professional, huh? Yeah, not messing around. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, guys, so basically we have this space. Wade actually lives here, right? And you can rent this space out and use it for business meetings or whatever you want to do. And we needed a good place to film some educational product videos for the new products that we have launching and also some purebolic stuff too. So we're going to, yeah, try to put all this together. So I'm going to get to work on that and then I will see you guys on the other side. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Alright guys, just wrapped up shooting some promo videos. If I get one of them done and edited, by the time this video comes out, I will put it right here. Hey guys, Wade Kirk here, and I want to take a quick moment and introduce you to something I'm very, very excited to show you. It's a brand new brand called Out Hustle. We developed this over the last six months, and I'm very excited to say the release is coming right around the corner. So without further ado, we've got the first two products here, both pre-workouts called Tunnel Vision. Highlight of, of these, outside of the strength of the product, are the flavors, and let me introduce you to these here. So first, White Monster. If you guys are familiar with Monster Energy Drink, that's what we replicate this after. So if you like that, or you, you know anybody that does, they're gonna absolutely love the flavor of this. Secondly, can't go wrong with Sour Candy. The Delicious, delicious. Very sweet, definitely hits the taste buds in a very good way. You'll definitely love it. You won't wanna stop drinking it, even though I'm gonna tell you, you better take it easy. We developed this particular brand and these products because of the strength. So I don't want anybody to think that we're trying to play the game and, and, and sort of tricking you, placebo effect of thinking these are strong. These are very strong, caution you in a good way. I caution everybody to take a half a scoop first time, and then you can go up as needed. But definitely start the half a scoop. I think you'll find your sweet spot no pun intended, in there, and then you stick right there until you need to take more. So less is more. This is the brand. These are the cool products. You guys are gonna love them. I can't wait to hear your feedback, and we're gonna keep coming off new, innovative products and things that you've never seen before, flavors, anything you can think of, that's what this brand is built to do. All right, guys, thanks for taking a second to check this out. Stay tuned, we got a lot of cool things coming. These will be out very, very soon. And if if I didn't, then I'm just now talking. I look like an idiot. But uh, Wade, you did really good, man. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you it. Did, I appreciate you it. Did, you did really good. I'm, I'm trying my best. You started actually way better than I started. I'm learning from the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're going to go. You got a gym that we're going to go to, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to check out a new spot. A One new of gym? my friends. Yeah, it's really All good. right. Yeah. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the new gym. All right, guys. We just got to Fit One Four. That's the name of this gym, and uh, we're going to check it out. Go in here, get a workout. Not sure how cool they're going to be with me filming in here, but uh, I'll try to bring you guys at least some content. Whoop! What I drop? My keys. Go figure. Go figure. We're not. We're going to leave that in. We're not going to edit that out. <laughs> Let's do it. Just started our workout, guys. This gym is absolutely incredible. If you're in the area, check out Fit14. I'm telling you, this is a sweet gym. I'm excited to come here and get some more lifts in. I'm starting a new weekly segment called Workout Tips with Wade. He's showing me some cool new exercises I'm gonna have him explain to you. Hey guys, check it out. All right, I wanna do something I don't usually do, but since I switch up all your arm routines, get the same old crap out of the way. We're gonna do on this incline bench, we're gonna do an isolated hammer curl. So obviously you wanna start here about 45 degree angle on the bench right here at 90 degrees. You're gonna slowly let the dumbbell come down right when it touches the bench. 
right back up all the way past your ear. If you're only coming at the 90, that's not far enough. You're missing this top part of the squeeze. So all the way down, squeeze all the way past the ear, and then right back down. Nice and slow, under control. Make sure you're squeezing that the whole time. <sighs> Just like that. And then switch arms and do it again, yes, right? Yes, sir. On to the other side. And guys, that has been Workout Tips with Wade. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we are picking this bicep workout back off with some spider curls with dumbbells. What you wanna do with these, it's all about this twist. So you start down here, take them in, and then as you move forward, you twist to the top, and they meet right here, then you squeeze up here at the top. Twist back down, back up, and then squeeze. You might only be able to get like eight. <sighs> or 10 of these if you're doing them right, but I'm telling you, <laughs> if you want to put some extra stress on your biceps, give these a shot. Shout out to Wade for introducing me to these. <sighs> and that, guys, is how you have a successful arm day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? Go you try to give me that guy to you. <laughs> Workout is complete, guys. I am officially smoked. Wade's been kind of changing up the way I train lately. I used to do tons of volume. Lately, we've only been doing like three, maybe four exercises, four sets, going heavy, really working on squeezing form, and uh, I'm noticing big differences. Max failure, baby. Right, now we gotta eat, right? Now it's time All to eat. All right, and by the way, this gym was incredible. Fit 1-4, check it out if you're in the area. More videos coming soon. Let's grub. Yeah, buddy. So we just got to the goat. The real challenge is gonna be figuring out what I can eat here that fits my diet. All I've had today was the meal you guys see me eat earlier. We've been doing all this work. We got our workout in, trying to get a bunch of business stuff done. I really haven't had time to eat and I did not have time this morning to prep my meals and bring them with me. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna try to do this as clean as we possibly can. So stay tuned. All right, guys, looking at the menu here, I'm trying to find oh, clean stuff in here that I can eat. And a lot of the stuff, as you can see, we got like Italian pizza rolls, pickle chips, buffalo cauliflower, stuff that's not gonna work. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is get a spinach salad. We'll probably just do baby spinach. We'll get egg on it, fried green tomato strips, pickled red onion, bacon, probably we're not gonna do the goat cheese. I won't do the vinaigrette. And we'll probably add some protein to it, grilled chicken or something along those lines to help us uh, stay on point. How's that sound? Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. Grilled chicken salad. Uh, this is probably gonna be, I would say this is, how many ounces of protein would you say that is? Uh, of chicken? Six ounces. All right, so we're gonna have six ounces of that, then you flip it over. We got some fish here too. I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. <laughs> Isn't it? We probably have six, maybe eight ounces of fish there. Lots of greens here, and I'm not gonna eat these little pita chip things, but I'm telling you guys, if you go to a restaurant and they don't really have anything that's healthy, what you can do, get a salad, add some protein to it, and you can't really go wrong. Just be mindful of your dressing, you'll be good to go. Well guys, meal time is over, feeling pretty good. Glad I uh, didn't fall off my diet. I knew you guys were watching, so I had to be extra good. And uh, feels good, man. You know, it's one of those things like when you're in the situation and you're in a restaurant, that bad food sounds really good. But once you leave and you don't feel like crap and you're like, hey, I didn't derail feel, everything. Feel even better. Yeah, it's like 100 times better. <laughs> right. And plus mentally, you, you won, <laughs> right, right? Exactly. That's a win. Yeah. So uh, anyways, we're going our separate ways. Big dog. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, buddy. I will see you again here real soon. We have like what three weeks and this is coming Hopefully out. Less, but let's right. all three just to be safe. <laughs> three to be safe. Right. So uh I can't wait for you guys to try this out and putting a lot of time into this. We put a lot of effort and passion into this to make sure this product is something that's something that I not only stand behind, but like you know, Wade being an industry veteran stands behind too. So loathe your guys' mind. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, big dog. Well, until next time. Yes. See you guys. Oh, you scared me, guys. How crazy is that? It's like you're in here waiting on me. What are the chances? Come on. Ugh. Didn't think that was ever going to end. It's like filling up a water jug. Hey. Huh, huh, huh. Come on. Come on. Ha ha. Eureka. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Nice handful. There we go. Mm, super good. Now, if you buy the right popcorn, it makes the perfect late night snack because there's not a lot of other macros in it. We have just carbohydrates essentially, very minimal fat and very minimal protein. So for me, if I budget 50 grams of carbs, which is one bag of this popcorn into my meal plan for the day, 
Then at night, I have something good to snack on. So I've been doing this the last like four days. I really enjoy it. It gives me something to munch on. So I think a lot of uh, food problems come from the fact that we always want to be like doing something with our mouths, <laughs> if that makes sense. Don't take that the wrong way, but you get what I'm saying. Like we always want to be like oral fixations, I think is what they like to call it. I'm about to hop on Twitch, do some live streaming. I'm officially an affiliate now on there, which is pretty cool. So they promote my channel more and I'm able to stream to more people, which is really awesome. So if you have a Twitch or if you like watching video games, even at all, you want to come hang out and say hi, twitch.tv slash Remington James. But I'm gonna get this done, guys. Had an amazing day today. Lots of good stuff happening. This launch has me so excited. I feel like I'm running around with it like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get all this stuff done, but uh, it's pay it'll pay off. And that's, that's one thing. It might be hard to see the fruits of your labor immediately. You might be wondering, why am I working so hard for nothing? Kind of like how I felt when I started my YouTube channel. Like all of it seemed like for nothing because I was getting no traction. But eventually all that hard work compounds and pays dividends to you in the end. I promise you guys that. So with that, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so very much. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better with that. I'm out of here. This has been a Remington James production. I'll see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys. Say goodbye to Wolverine and Link and Dragon Ball Z. Woo! <laughs>